Hello everybody, CVH here, and today we've got some gameplay of Action Assassin on the Legend Ladder. Now this is going to be something of a blast from the past kind of video. I think I mentioned something like that with Token Spell Sword before in a gameplay video, where this is a deck similar to Token Spell Sword that was incredibly popular about 6 to 10 months ago. And since then it's fallen off, and in the case of Action Assassin, it's fallen off mostly because like 5 of the cards in the original list got nerfed. And I mean like nerfed to the ground, to where like 4 out of 5 of them aren't even in today's list. But before we get into some gameplay, I'll be showcasing a little bit of the deck and how it looks in its newer form. As you can tell from the title, we're going to be playing a lot of actions in this list. As you can see, 19 actions in this particular build, and we're going to use them along with some key cards, one of which is Crystal Tower Crafter, which grows every time you play an action. Uh, this is one of the ones that was nerfed, but we're still playing it in this list because it can still be so powerful, but it used to be a 2-2 of base power, and uh, then it was downright overpowered. But now it's a 1-1, uh, still seems pretty reasonable in this list, and we're also using the actions along with Lilindril Hex Mage, which will burn our opponent for 2 every time we play an action, and switch. Swindler's Market, which is uh, one of the newer cards from Madhouse Collection. When you play a zero cost card, deal one damage to your opponent and gain one health. Only playing two of in this list because we're not really focusing on the zero cost actions per se, although we do have a lot of them, uh, the ones that are naturally in our deck, uh, that we can search with Goblin Skulk, which is a package you see in a lot of different decks, as well as the Murkwater Shaman as a two of, which can go along with giving us more curses for our finish off, and the three copies of Smuggler's Hall down here, which is going to put four random zero costs into our hand. Smuggler's Hall existed. Uh, a long time ago, back in the day, when we were playing this deck uh, with all the pre-nerfed cards. Uh, some builds that did run Lilindral Hex Major and Smuggler's Hall, but the entire package was a bit too slow, but we didn't have Swindler's Market at our disposal back then, so now we're having a little bit of extra burn in the list. And uh, some things to note with this deck, you're not really a combo deck, it might seem like you're a combo deck, just because you have some really cool combos and some combo potential in the list doesn't mean you should really spend too much time focusing on them. At, at the heart, you are an aggro deck. Uh, you're playing the Mournhold Traders, the Goblin Skulks early, if you can get a big Crystal Towercrafty going early, that's all the better. Uh, but basically, you're just trying to get on the board as fast as possible, start attacking, and the glory of this deck is that you can convert things to burn really, really quickly. We're not playing Ice Spikes or Crushing Blow, although they are fine, I didn't really have space, and I thought Finish Off would be very uniquely uh, good for the deck since we lack removal pretty seriously, uh, but basically, once we do lose the board, if we do, we can start converting the Hex Mages and the Markets to burn. So really think, uh, not just about Firing off all your actions as soon as possible. Really think if you need to save them for burn because you know, having a zero cost card in your hand and then drawing a Swindler's Market, that can maybe be the difference between a win and a loss. So it's a really fun deck to play. Uh, it's an aggro deck, but there are a lot of different ways to, to play the game. Um, there's a lot of different decisions. Everything is so cheap in your hand that it really, really matters uh, how you choose to allocate your resources and when you decide to go all in on the board, when you decide to save things for burn. It's really fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy some gameplay with the deck. And as always, if you do, feel free to leave a like. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for more strategy content, gameplay play videos, uh, daily videos for legends of all kinds, and check out my stream in the description. You can catch some of these games live and hang out with me there, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy some action assassin on the ladder. Doesn't seem like it would be disgusting, but it really would be. Welcome. Oh, you stole my spot. May you walk on warm sands. You don't think Protector of the Main was good? I think Protector of the Main's pretty good. I would instantly play that card in any Pilfer Monk. I, I don't know what reason you would have to not play it in Pilfer Monk. I don't think you'd play it in the other Monk decks. But like, why wouldn't you play it in Pilfer Monk? It's so good. Uh, I'm just gonna play Traitor and I think try to kill that. Of course, I'm on your side. Now it's saying I'm live, but I have zero viewers and I wasn't streaming before now. Thanks, Dashboard. Really keeping it 100. Making it easy to analyze my stats. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am not live. And now I've just gone live. Okay. Okay. Just give me a name. Didn't see this coming, eh? Go! I think our first game plan should be abandoning that lane and hoping he doesn't have a finish off or a rapid shot. Alright, not a finish off, a rapid shot or a Skaven. Or that, I guess. That's less bad for me. It's nothing personal. I guess. Yeah, I probably would have done the, uh, the attack first, because if I get... I don't know. Like, people always do that in their order every single time. It's fine, though. Uh, now we can probably play Traitor in that lane. 
Another skulk in the right. Of course I'm on your side. Astrid might be a little inconsistent. It's nothing personal. Hmm. I don't think I need to ward it now. Never me. I'd like to get both Hex Mages or like a Swindler's Market or something on board first. It does die to another Vigilante, it's but it's getting silenced either way, right? It could get silenced either way. Die, There's nowhere they yeah. can hide. Disappointing, but expensive. <gasps> Not super hunter. cheap. And we could do other things too. Let's see what we search first. We could play second Hex Mage, Curse, and Lesser Ward on the left. We could not give him cards, though. We could play, like, Brotherhood Slayer. How many? We searched for 2 0 costs so far. That's it. It's more in the deck. We could play another Skulk this turn. Or we could play Astrid and Brotherhood Slayer. Just give me a name. I'll lead my family to glory. What have we here? Just give me a name. It's nothing personal. Yeah, playing a lot of things before attacking, it's pretty risky. Could get a lightning bolt, would have been perfect. How good is that? I wanna see what I get first. I think I do. Now, do I want to play Hex Mage before I Shadow Shift is the question. I think the answer is probably no. Although I could Hex Mage, Shadow Shift, Double Trade, play two contracts. Maybe the answer is yes. I get like six damage out of the Hex Mage immediately. They'll never outsmart me. It's nothing personal. The void awaits you. It has been my honor. Careful there, friend. That's pretty good. Twitch just logged me out on mobile a while. Oh my god, Twitch is doing some weird things. Am I still online, guys? <laughs> you guys could just be in my chat hanging out. My OBS has had no problems, but. The forest is my cloak. My dashboard is saying it's telling a different story, man. It really is. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 is how much damage we potentially have? I like that. That's a lot. Nothing personal. The void awaits you. They'll never outsmart me. It has been my own. It has been an engaging hunt. <laughs> Hopefully it's not affecting anything else, like alerts or anything. This deck seems fun, I'm sick of Control Mage. I'm having, I'm having some fun with it, for sure. I am definitely having some fun with it. Oh dude, and we got the Ring Skull. Feels good, man. May you walk on warm sands. Very live. <laughs> Flex. That's the oh boy flex combination. They make it too easy. <laughs> of 
course I'm on your side. Does this even drops for legends? Yeah, all the uh, the legends people who have sync account should be getting them starting tomorrow. Close ranks, let nothing through. Oh no, the J uh, the Jables. Sorry about the game disconnect there. Oh, that's annoying. Somewhat annoying. Now, do I want to play board control at all? I think I might just let him hit me for that much. I don't really care about the damage. Search two. We have two curses left. I think I'll just play this and push damage. Of course, I'm on your side. I'll save these for hex mage. Like I don't care about the two damage. I really don't. I support Bethesda Pactivism. Yes. Me too. Honor and I am a Pactivist. Do you have enough skulks? I don't know. Just give me an A. I hope. Like I'm not even sure if that's really worth a lightning bolt. I don't think it might. I think it might not be. Uh, yeah. Didn't see this coming, eh? Huh. Never won anything before? I never won anything in a stream until the first day that Legends was able to be streamed. And then I won my beta key from someone else's chat. God, I'm gonna play around Vigilante. I am. This could be bad. It could just be a waste of the less reward is my problem. Fed up because my plans got ruined, but at least I get to have some fun here. No problem, Razik. Every single day. That's annoying. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. We had no idea that he had a curse, though. He hadn't been able to search anything. Annoying times. I simply play these. I think it's fine. Goblins! Our lives would have been different if you hadn't gotten that key. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And it was bad, because I was like planning on streaming it for a while. I was like, as soon as it's able to be streamed, I'm going to be streaming it every day. And then they opened the NDA, but they just... I hadn't gotten my key. I had applied so long ago. And it was sad. I was like, come on. <laughs> I really want to stream. So I was so salty. I just turned on the Twitch. I was like, well, at least I get to watch other people playing this game that I really want to play. It's like, oh, this person says he's giving away something. Oh, it's like 70 people here. Let's see if I can win a key. I just entered. I was the one that won. Pretty lucky. Let's heat things up. Oh, let's heat things up. Shall we begin? Yeah, I mean, you can you can get cards pretty fast in this game if you put in any effort whatsoever. But most decks are going to have some legendaries. But they're definitely able to be played, most of them, without the legendaries. Like, if you had to play this deck without Dagger Falls, just put in Telvanni Arcanist. No Ungalam, not totally required. Queen good, but not totally required. I wouldn't be overly concerned. Let's do plan on trying to pick up some legendaries. I can't think of any draw that we'd get that would actually allow us to win. I don't think there is one. Well, two draws we could get like... Nah, there's nothing. 
He's pushing half my life next turn. Can Septim Lesser Ward in the right, curse the 2 1. I think I'll just do this. And play the Septim Raw, I guess. My sword is yours. This could be good with Hex Mage. But I still can't play Hex Mage and Bolt next turn. Now, if I could have just gone for the Hex Mage top deck and maybe try like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, it would have been one off, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have. Yeah, we can't even play double market though. Like, not with the bolt. That could give us some more time, maybe? Alright, that's actually really good. So we just play this, and we hope we get the nuts, and then we finish that off and hope we're not dead. Do another one. Nord Firebrand, please. Nord Firebrand. I have two close calls. Yikes. If I drew a Swindler's Market, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Damn it. <laughs> that's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh... Alright, I'll play this raw. I'm not gonna play Maple Shield now. I could just be dead to Cliff Race here at Tazcad. Worth trying to see if there's any way we can win them. Alright, we're never beating that. Damn. We beat the last archer, right? Might need another market. Three is so many, though. Like, for every time we have Smuggler's Hall with no market, we have market with no Smuggler's Hall, and that's so much worse. 